Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, thanks, and adoration to the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, our Lord, Savior, Redeemer, Yahweh Shai. Double, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for having taught me this truth. And peace and salutation to the house of Israel, to those who are sincerely seeking the truth. So this lesson is going to be based on a dream a friend shared with me yesterday. So I have this friend of mine who is also in the truth. And he sent me a voice message yesterday. I would have loved to play the voice message, but, you know, the language is in that straight up English everyone would understand. So... I prefer to just give a narration of what the dream is. So, his dream goes like this. He had a dream that he was, you know, he was somewhere, you know, kind of like outside. And there were lots of people gathered, a crowd gathered. So, what happened? All of a sudden, this guy, this guy started acting out, you know. Strange things were just like, you know, going on in the sky. Like, um, it seemed like the sky was changing color, you know. It turned dark, it turned red, you know, had different colors, you know. Then all of a sudden, you know, they could see like um, a huge house, a kind of house, you know, in the sky. And it seemed like someone was coming down on a horse. So he was just looking and he was wondering who this person could be. You know, in his mind, he actually thought it was Yahweh Shai coming back, you know. So he being in the truth, you know, knowing that Yahweh Shai would be a Negro person, a dark skinned person, you know. So the closer the person got, he could see that, you know, this isn't a dark skinned person. So finally, the person got closer and he could see that this wasn't really a dark skinned person it looked like um a mixed a mixed race person like um an half caste okay so when the person finally landed you know so people of his kind you know let's just put it like the the white skinned people you know lots of them just gathered around him they were happy you know very happy so the people that gathered around him were people of his kind you know the light skin race people so he started like kind of like teaching them you know then my friend all by himself was wondering you know who could this be so he was thinking probably maybe an angel or, but something wasn't really right you know so when he called me you know, he started like sharing this dream with me, you know. So I asked a few questions, you know. So the first thing that was just coming into my mind, you know, it was um a great deception. A great deception. So at the first we actually thought maybe it's um a scene of what the end would look like, you know. But Later, the spirit style, like, you know, leading me to something else because it wasn't really corresponding with what we read from the scripture. We have to go by the scriptures. So the scriptures actually gave the depiction, the explanation of um, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is a dark skinned man, you know, he's a Negro, okay? And when Yahweh Shai is coming back, he's not coming back to teach the people. He's not coming back to make peace with the people, you know. So these two things, these two points actually, you know, caught me in. Something really came to my mind. And what came to my mind was the the Blue Beam project that the sons of Esau are putting out there. They actually, they've been working on this project, which they could... um. They can just, um, you know, project different things, different sort of stuff in the sky. You know, they even used the technology to to put out a show of Tupac, you know, and Michael Jackson performing on the, on the stage, you know. 
So it's a it's a project the Sons of Iso have been you know seriously working on, in which I'll just show you a short video I have towards the end of this. So I would like to you know read from the book of Matthew, chapter twenty four, and I'll start from verse twenty three, which quotes. And if any man should say unto you, Lo, here is the anointed, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false anoint, anointed, false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect, which this is already going on in different scales, you know, but more is yet to come. And behold, I have told you before, wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For wheresoever the, the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Okay, so as we can read from these few verses, you know, we're being warned of this false anointed that would turn up. So as, you know, lots of people already turning up, you know, we have many of the house of Israel calling themselves the anointed, you know, we have many, you know, coming up with different philosophies, you know, um, deceiving the sons of the sons of Israel, you know. So this is already going on in different scales, but yet Pardon me, a lot more is yet to come, as I'm going to show you in a video. Okay. So I just want to make this video short and want to share this video. So as we can read here, you know, um, we're being warned after these things. So we just straightly going to look at this video, which as you can see, it's reading right there. We search the Blue Beam project, the project Blue Beam. It's something you can research on your own. You know, the sons of Esau already, already gone so far with this project, you know. So what this project is actually all about is, um, they work with um this holographic projections okay so they can project you know 3d images you know into the sky you know project it anywhere and you know make it make it seem so real now let me play this video So as you can see, all oh, this is the projection, or they actually project them. See? Yeah, so that's it right there. As you can see, you know, I just wanted to share this short video. So on the day Yahweh Shah will be coming back, it's really going to be a dreadful day. Everyone in the world is going to witness it. You know, in the past I also had a short vision or dream, you know, regarding this issue. And what I actually saw was different from what my friend saw. So I told my friend probably he's getting a vision of, you know, um, a time when um, he saw he's going to put out this technology of the blue beam, you know, and deceive a whole mass of people, project some stuff into the sky, some kind of redeemer coming down from the sky. And 
this is something we should all take serious because um this could happen as we can read right there in the book of Matthew it's telling us even for even the elect where is it written sorry so if 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 it were possible they shall deceive the very elect as well so we should pay attention because on the day Yahweh Shai will be coming back it's going to be a very dreadful day and the vision i actually had was you know a lot of this ufo so-called ufo chariots you know lots of them in the sky you know they just covered the sky and it wasn't really a pleasing scene to see you know for those who know the truth it's going to be beautiful but still dreadful you know so I hope y'all could pick something from this little message and I hope it was edifying and I'd like to give all praises, thanks and adoration to the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord, Savior and Redeemer and my double honors to the Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone for having taught me this truth and peace to the House of Israel, Shalom.